everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Yuri Orkis Gamboa is approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Diego Chico Corrales is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Guys, remember, obey my commands at all times. Great, let's have a good clean fight. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup, you're looking for guys to be more consistent? Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define that? Just in one area, when they get inside, for example, Joe. Every once in a while, somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden, one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. Oh, good stuff there. Two in a row by Yuri Orcus Gamboa. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Able to cover up that gut. Yuri Orcus Gambo is starting to show some swelling. His corner should ice that down. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Yuri Orcus Gamboa. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good counter punch from Corrales. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport. And every little region of the country defines its fighters differently. And the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder. And he's going to have to be more physical because... You know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be... Oh! Yuri Orcus Gamboa's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled and was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Looking good. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. Don't fight his fight. Jab more, jab more, jab more. Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then straight down the middle. You got that? Jab, jab. Oh, 
here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Chico able to land the counter punch. Blocks the headshot. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He goes down, and there is still plenty of time remaining in this round. One, two, three, four. And somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Halfway through round number two. And a well-targeted combination by Uriorkis Gamboa. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. He missed that uppercut. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Blocks that belt line well. Yuri Orcus Gamboa's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Good counter punch from Corrales. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Final 10 seconds. End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored. Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Nice block by Yuri Orkis Gamboa. Yuri Orcas Gamboa's got to find an answer here because he's just too defensive after going down earlier. You know, it's a funny thing. He's gotten a taste of his own medicine because usually he'll make you miss and he'll counter back. He'll make you pay. Well, he missed earlier and he paid and he hasn't gotten over that. Just off the mark with that punch. Nice block by Yuri Orkis Gamboa. Good 
Counter punch from Corrales. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. A headshot blocked. Good work. Two clean shots get in by Diego Corrales. Yuri Arcus Gamboa's cut man is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes. Well, it's the same thing here. You got to get to this eye before the swelling's there. You got to put that end swell, that cold piece of metal, onto that place early on. Good block by Corrales. Ten clicks of the tuck. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Here we go with the fourth round. Gamboa able to block that punch. Morales able to block that punch. Good block by Corrales. Way through this round. Chico able to land the counter punch. Work the body. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. with a left hand. Takes 
one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Ten seconds to go in this round. And Corrales able to block that punch. Yuri Orcas Gamboa is learning a real hard lesson here. And it's that a corner man can only do so much when you're dealing with this amount of swelling around the eye. Yeah, you have that end swell in the corner. Of course, it's a piece of metal that you put in ice. It gets very cold. It retains the cold. And you place it on the swelling. But once it gets started, as you alluded to, Joe, it's tough to stop it. you got to get that ice or get that end swell on it early on before that swelling gets started, before it gets to this kind of place. Let's get on that swelling. I'll press on that. Here we are at the start of another round. A round that could simply add on to a new direction and a new course that this fight has taken. I really liked what he was able to do in that last round. Now he's behind on the scorecards, but you get the sense that the momentum is starting to roll his way. Well, you get the sense that it's starting to become his kind of fight now. Corrales with a block punch. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Diego Corrales. <laughs> Corrales with a block punch. What would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Wow. Just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. How about a return to sender with the left hand? That's a tried and true method that works out very well, the counterpunch landing by Yuri Orkis Gamboa. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And Corrales able to block that punch. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of the cut. It's nothing. A small cut, nothing. Don't worry about it. He'll take care of the slug. Just focus on the fight. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been.
Samoa lands a nice counter punch. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Not able to land the headshot. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Good counter punch from Corrales. Locks that belt line well. That's a nice counter punch from Diego Corrales. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle, it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go. Yuri Orcus Gamboa's got to find a way to protect that eye. The cut has worsened. And if it gets any worse, you got to think this fight is coming to an end immediately. Well, what's going to matter is when the doctor finally gets caught up and looks at it is, Joe, not how bad the cut looks or even how graphic it is to the fans out there, but where it's at. The doctor will look to see whether or not it's the kind of cut that if it gets worse, it could actually be physically damaging to his career. Good block by Gamboa. Round comes to an end here. And Teddy, I know you've had a very busy week. You've been training some pro football players this week. There are many parallels to be made between the pro fight game and the pro football game. Yeah, there are, you know, physical ones and emotional, mental ones. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these behemoths, you know, like offensive linemen. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. They have to make sure that they get those hands out now. If they raise their elbows, just like a fighter raising his elbow before he throws a jab, they lose the power. So you gotta teach them to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power, and also get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them, and now he can control him. And of course, the mental aspects of it, where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making a choice for you. No, that's not the truth. Blocked that time. It was intended to the head. Good counter punch from Corrales. Diego Corrales' strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Yuri Orcus Gambo. Holy cow! Yuri Orcus. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time.
to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. A minute to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. That's a nice counter punch from Diego Corrales. Diego Corrales has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Good block by Yuri Orkis Gamboa. Good counter punch from Corrales. Locks away that headshot. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. That's all. You need to throw more. If you're not punching, he is. And we're gonna cut it. No, we cut nothing. No, don't worry about it. He's gotta find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Yuri Orkis Gamboa is thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. So if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. You know, your defense creates offense when you're a counterpuncher. He is not that kind of fighter. He can't win this way. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. able to block that punch. That punch nowhere close. Yuri Orkis Gamboa's cut is really a mess right now and it could jeopardize this fight for him right here. Teddy, is there blame that needs to be placed on his cut man? Could he have done more? Well, really the trick to being a cut man is pretty simple. It's not rocket science. You have to have the right medicines, the right coagulants. You have to be calm. You have to be able to put pressure on that cut, get it to stop, and then put those medicines in. But you need a little help from your fighter. You need him to move a little bit on his bike and give those medicines time to work. Close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five. He went down from.
from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things. And he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him. And they got to, right now, they have to revive him. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of the cut. It's nothing. It's small cut. Nothing to worry about. You need to realize on these mistakes, okay? I want to see that come. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Yuri Orcas Gamboa is learning a real lesson here, how one single moment can change an entire fight. Ever since that knockdown, he hasn't been the same. No, and this has taken his identity away because he's a high-energy fighter, fast hand, always coming. His offense is his defense. Right now, he's like a bird without wings. Miss with that headshot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Yuri Orcas Gamboa. Orcus Gamboa with a... Oh! Diego Corrales right, is stunned, and he is hurt. Well, where was this earlier? All of a sudden now, you see he's being effective hey, and hey, being no aggressive holding, no and holding. outworking his man, when for most of the fight, he was the one being outworked. Well, eating about two dozen jabs, you know what? It can change your mind a little bit. He figures now, let the other guys start eating a little. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Had his target in mind, but just missed. This fight over, is over. over. Diego Chico Corrales has got himself a stoppage win. Technical knockout, says the ref. Your winner, Diego Chico. Diego Chico Corrales is your winner by TKO. And a guy that I want to see more of. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.